Hey there, Chris Bassett here, and I'll be showing you what I did to install my new graphics card in my PC. Let's get into it. First things first, I'd recommend using a chatbot like ChatGPT, Gemini, or I'm using Grok, which is like the X or the uh, Twitter bot, but it'll give you step-by-step -step instructions if you fill out enough information in the query. So just make sure you're very specific on what you want it to do, and it'll write you a whole list. Step one is to make sure that your old stuff is compatible with the new stuff. So if you check, um, right click the start button and then uh, open up the run command, you can then go to MS Info 32, hit OK, and that'll show your PC specs. Uh, you can go to the manufacturer website of the card you got and you can double check uh, to see if your stuff is compatible. Next, you want to download the newest drivers. I have an AMD graphics card, so I had to go to the AMD website and pick up those drivers. AMD.com, uh, resources and support, and then uh, graphics and chipsets, and then I have a Windows 11 uh, operating system, so download the driver from there. And then since I am going from an NVIDIA card to AMD, I'd recommend downloading the display driver uninstaller. So here I am over on guru3d.com. Uh, go ahead and click the downloads page and then scroll down to where it says uninstaller at 18 ver I think it's like 18 point something is the newest version. And then you want to scroll over to the green. Um, be careful of ads on the page, but the download mirror USA is the one that I used. This will just delete the old drivers from the system and reduce the complications that you'll run into. So next, I'm gonna restart the PC in safe mode. So hold shift and press restart uh, from the Windows login. Uh, you'll then want to run the uh, driver uninstaller, uh, select GPU and Nvidia, and then clean and shut down. All right, so I'm just holding the F8 key while the computer restarts. Uh, that way it'll boot into safe mode. All right, this is what my safe mode looks like. Let's go to troubleshooting, uh, advanced options, and then startup settings. Uh, here you can see it says enable safe mode. So we'll be doing that. So go ahead and hit restart and it'll bring you back to the menu in safe mode. All right, you want to press a number from the settings. Um, number five is enable safe mode with networking. So that's what I'm going to choose. I'll hit number five on the keyboard. You can see my desktop looks different from before, um, but we can still access our files and stuff. So go over to the start menu. Um, I go in there and look for my downloads because we just recently downloaded uh, your AMD drivers and your uninstaller. So it was a zipped file which had a little zipper across the icon. Make sure you right click that and then extract all to get the regular file. Uh, you can then choose the DDU and then run it. So here I'm going to choose run and then I do need to extract it so yes and then I can click where it says the new file popped up click that and then the display driver uninstaller click on that and it'll bring up the program. You can say OK just kind of gives you a warning or whatever and you're like yes and then here you want to click on any of the advanced options you want I didn't need any of this so just close out this window and then go ahead to the next page where the actual uninstaller is at which looks like this so select device type which would be your GPU or your graphics processing unit and then the brand AMD or Nvidia I'm uninstalling my Nvidia we want to get rid of that um, so just choose that and then here make sure you choose Clean and shut down. I did clean and restart because I didn't know what I was doing, but clean and shut down because uh, we will be removing the graphics card after this step. All right, time to physically install the uh, 9060 graphics card. So it was helpful for me to take a picture of the back of the computer. That way I could remember what wires were plugged into where. Uh, but you need to unplug everything, unplug your power, unplug uh, any cables out of the way, and then get to a space where you can work on the computer. So there's the new card, uh, pretty spiffy. Um, make sure that the card is the right size for your case. If it's too long, I won't be able to fit it in there. Uh, but this is what my case looks like. It has four on the front panel. So we'll just unscrew these four knobs on the front and then remove the plastic case cover uh, to gain access to the guts. So there's my old card. And so we got a power supply. It's the eight pin right there. You also have a clip that holds the uh, graphics card in place. Uh, be careful. Look for your clip and then you need to be careful when you release it. So you need to gently press down on the clip. It hooks up underneath the tooth of the graphics card and then my front panel with the ports and stuff are here. It has two screws and so we'll need to remove that. So you can remove the power supply just by pulling up and out. Um, be gentle. There's a clip there. And then if that 
uh, clip down there is depressed, push it down, it'll release the graphics card. So my best advice would be to take it slow, wiggle it gently, um, double tri check, triple check, make sure all your connections are disconnected, all the screws, everything out of the way. Um, but I was pushing on that clip while gently uh, lifting, trying to get it, uh, the bottom clip like snaps into that tooth. And then so kind of pulling gently to unwedge it or unstick it. And there it finally released from the front. Um, I'll show where the where that tooth hooks in there, but just be careful. Uh, it's like a very thin board that plugs in. Um, so if you push it, you know, one way or the other, uh, you're gonna snap something. There you go. So this, let's get a look at the bottom here. Uh, there's where it was hooked in. It has that tooth and it hooks in, just snaps in there. But there's your board. It's like a thin strip of connectors that just plug in there. So make sure that you reinstall the new GPU exactly the way it came out. Um, make sure the ports are in the right position in the clip. So I'm just lining it up, making sure it looks nice. There's the clip. Obviously the new card is longer, but there's your clip there pointing at that. And then, so you need to depress that. It's close to other components. So that's why I was being careful, but you'll just look at it real carefully and line it up. So I got to move some extra wires out of the way and then get a top view, like an aerial view looking straight down. So you can make sure that everything is being installed square, plumb properly. Uh, I don't want to come in at an angle sideways or something. So here I'm just showing it from a different angle. It helps if you move your head. Uh, so I was only looking at the bottom of the case and here's a top view. So I could actually see easier when I leaned like over top and then look down, I could see where it snapped into place. Uh, but then you'll lift that little clip up to lock it into place. Uh, make sure your ports and stuff are at the front and then reconnect your power supply. Don't forget that. I actually forgot to do that. <laughs> and uh, make sure all the pins are in as well. Uh, some of the pins can be loose, uh, so make sure all your plugs are plugged in and then your case is locked down. Then you can put the lid back on and then we'll go turn the computer on. All right, with everything reconnected, we can now power on the PC and check the BIOS screen. So you wanna hold F2 or delete on the keyboard while the computer's starting up or booting, and then you can check the other settings. Uh, you can save and exit after that. But here, Grok recommends that I have it set to auto, and then I have the resizable bar checked. Uh, make sure if you're using like an AI to help, you follow the steps that are appropriate for your PC. All right, once your computer boots up to Windows, you can go ahead and download and install your drivers. Uh, we've already downloaded them from before, so now we can just go ahead and install them. All right, so I like to open up my files and then search for recent downloads. Um, if it's not there, it could also be in your web browser under the downloads. Um, but there it is right there. It should say AMD software or whatever your card is. Uh, grab that, click on it, say yes, and then it'll load up. Um, it's a pretty simple, straightforward process. Uh, it should give you a couple options. Uh, it'll say like the recommended stuff. Um, you can also do a custom install where if you don't want, sometimes I did notice on like Nvidia, they like to slip extra bolt crap in there. So if you don't want something, make sure you don't do that. And then just accept an install. Once it's installed, go ahead and restart your PC to apply the drivers. And that's it. Should be ready to go. Uh, next time your PC fires up, should be good. Um, I am going to go ahead and show the rest of the Grok stuff. Uh, that it recommends. Um, you can test game performance. You can benchmark your GPU. Um, if you're following along with an AI that gave you instructions, you know, obviously follow those. But the rest of the Grok information is how to troubleshoot black screens. I actually had a black screen because my motherboard was last updated in 2020. It's now 2025 with a newer GPU. So there's compatibility issues. I'll need to take a USB, uh, download some information from the uh, AS Rock, which is my motherboard website, and then apply that to make sure that the newer GPU is compatible with the older hardware in my computer. Hey, check out another video over here. I've got some Amazon links down in the description. If you want to help support at no extra cost, I'd really appreciate it. Use those links. Uh, any other questions or comments, put those below. Thanks.